me girl get upset them sick of me i beg god now make you get rid of me i know everybody get my energy la 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 portes 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 who are you who don't like to jump to sleep hello 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 your fluffy diva miss kid is sports max what are ready to off move it's easy for me la 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 contest when me do good that get them press can't mind them one damn business so them takes it Back with us on the Sports Mag Zone, believe it or not, it's time for another edition of Celebrity Knock. Celebrity Knock is where we invite influential and or prominent persons within society here on The Zone. In previous episodes, we've given you music producers, recording artists, athletes, and even politicians. Today's guest now. Today's guest is one of the biggest personalities in Jamaica, owns one of the biggest personalities in Jamaica, and has ego for days, but she's worth it though. <laughs> she's an MC extraordinaire, radio personality, television personality, talk show host, and after completing legal studies, has added the prestigious descriptor, attorney at law, to her resume. <laughs> I hope you're all ready for Kadeem. Hilton. So you saw the person at the front and then you heard Kaleen Hilton and I wonder what, but, well, if you're perplexed, let her introduce herself this way. I am your fluffy diva, the one and only, in my inimitable fashion, la 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 the lala boss, if you please. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Just get to welcome. Thank you. I, I'm so happy to be here and to your co-host as well. Thank you so much to ha for having me. Big up to the uh, Sports Max family. Absolutely amazing. And it feels so great to be here. Uh, Mariah, you want to have first crack? Yeah, the, I remember the, the, looking at her. So when I moved to Jamaica, I would, you know, go to all these events and whatnot. And I would see you on stage. Where do you get that energy from? Uh, you know, it's funny. For me, when I see on air, when the on air sign goes on, yeah. I just automatically click and something clicks because it's work time. And for me, working hard and giving my audience a good time, people pay their hard earned money to come right. out and see you. And I just believe in you have to deliver. And excellence is my hallmark. And it's about being consistent. So if it means that I'm going to flick or split or take off my wig and wheel right. it, so hello, that's what's up right about now so it's just about you know when I see my fans when I go to somewhere I just really want to bring my best and to me you're only as good as your last performance so it is imperative that you do your best and bring it all the time you're such a strong strong woman and you know I've been reading about you in the news lately oh wow talking about you know how you deal with people that pretend that they're with you and all yeah. these different things I'm a female personality as well I may not be as strong as you are I want you to talk to us about that. Well, you're absolutely strong. We all have our strengths in our uh, different ways. And I do think that, you know, the strength of a woman is absolutely something that we have to celebrate. Women are tenacious. Women are resilient. Uh, just by the sheer, uh, you know, coping with the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, empirical data shows that women and girls have been affected um, adversely uh, by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, we still continue to grow. We still continue to go. We still continue to lead. And so dealing with the haters, it comes with a part of success. Listen, nobody in a stone green mango tree. Mango tree with green mango on it, nobody not looking on it. So when people are at you, you don't know all fruits, ripe, shake the grape tree. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, Jesus walked the earth as sinless man. He healed the sick, raised the dead, turned water into wine, and they still crucified him. So you can't allow the naysayers to stop your progress. Unfortunately, in Jamaica, uh, some people have a an obsession with you know humbling quote unquote people who are progressing but when i watch the nice at the market we're watching our profit we keep focused on our goals we pray without ceasing and we just allow god to continue to bless us so people will always have something to say george whether you go the good bad or the indifferent people will have something so to say what you think about me is not my business i love me and i'm not who they say i am i am who god says i am you know, for the for the, <laughs> I like wow. that. I yeah. love it. That's tremendous. That's yeah. tremendous. You know, so 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 our audience, uh, 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 Kitty, is in twenty seven countries. Oh, hi, twenty seven countries. How you doing? Bonjour. Comment ça va? Buenos dia. Buenas tardes. Yes, muy bien. Yeah, French people. It, it, it big, <laughs> you know. <laughs> very, very big. Yeah. <laughs> big enough for you. Magnanimous. Yeah? There I you love go. It. Yes. So so we want to do a. I'm gonna ask you questions that you know that I know the answer to, given our antecedents, yes? Okay. But for the I didn't know I was cross examination. No, my <laughs> son. If, 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 if anything, you would be doing it. So, so here's the thing, though. So bear with us. Yeah. 
I want you for the benefit of my viewers who are in TNT, in Barbados, St. Kitts, Nevis, St. Lucia, wherever they are mwah, watching you, yeah? Live, Guyana, wherever. Yes. La, tell, la, la, la. tell us how you got started. Tell us, give me from school days right forward, how yeah. did you get started oh, wow. in this business of media? So I, I went to George Haley Primary School. Well, I went to Laura's Basic. I went to George Haley Primary. I went to the Merle Grove High School. Then I went to the University of the West Indies. So I started by doing a youth program uh, where, you know, youths would come on, talk about youth issues. And essentially it snowballed into, uh, you know, it snowballed into, really sir? It snowballed into me being on radio and getting an afternoon show and everything just kind of developed. I had no, I didn't have media on my radar at all uh, because nobody told you about, you know, the fact that you can be successful as a media practitioner. At that time, you know, you're thinking about the regular, well, not the regular, the, um, uh, the, Co the what what's the, what word am I looking for? The jobs that are the, the careers that are you know expected. So yes. the lawyer, the doctor, the nurse, the teacher, and the police. And a, a gentleman I remember. I saw I had a sex show at first, right? Great we in know the this, early yes. morning. <laughs> I didn't know. Tell yes, us, tell yes. us. So it was called Frank and Upfront. It was uh, like one a.m. to five a.m. and that went well. And then a gentleman whose name eludes me at the moment said to me, "I think that you could do afternoon radio." So I was like, "Well." I don't know about that because then we couldn't talk the, about the adult stuff that I normally talk about. And but you know, I said to myself, "All right, I, I'm going to rise to the occasion." I started my afternoon show, and then from afternoon show to hosting events, I would host events for different companies all across the length and breadth of Jamaica, um, rural, anywhere, bush, anywhere, grassroots, anywhere. And I think being able to interact with people from different, uh, you know, stratum of society, it allowed me to be able to interact and learn and grow so whether you're from uptown downtown wherever it is if i go to st vincent if i go to st kitts grenada trinidad and tobago i know how to react to people and we incorporate people because people you can learn something from everyone and then it just skyrocketed from there you know allow me to, to just tell a story here mariah yeah, yeah it's the, the, well in this way I met people over time. Miss Kitty is always on the forefront, and sometimes she courts controversy, and sometimes you're talking to people. No, it's not me courting. It's them court me. Wait, wait no. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> chop, yeah. <laughs> sometimes people say, of course, don't know that I know anything about her, and say, boy, they don't like her. And I said, why? Mm -hmm. And they'll say, why? And I said, well, so they said, what do you think? And I said, well, I'm in a position where I know her too well to look at her the way you do. Because what is true is that nobody can talk anything negative about her professionalism and her quality. Because I know, because here's the thing, Mariah. When we were at the same place yeah. together for, 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 for a spell, and then yeah. she went elsewhere, came back, yeah. and then we were a long spell at the same place together. Yeah. I was the one who got there first in the newsroom. So I'd been there from after 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. There were many times I got there at 4.45 a.m. and I walked in. She was there Ooh. getting ready because she had to do, she, she wasn't compromising on her radio show, but she had something else big to do for some big corporate client that she was getting ready for. And you know, some people would, okay, I'm dropping this show because big corporate client there is having me doing this so I can lean on that. No, she's doing everything. It's going to be a long day. And she's there from after four people and her staff and her team are there. The fact is that we're working Work ethic is concerned, where stick to itiveness is concerned, where versatility is concerned, you can't get better than Kadeen, Miss Kitty Hilton. Oh. And I'm happy I have the chance oh. to say this to you here oh. because you know that we are coming from far. Yeah. The, the, the That's, two amazing. Of us. That's amazing. Oh, yeah? Thank you, George. So, so oh. as, as we go to break, I ask you this question though. Yeah. People often talk about your success and they say that you are successful. How do you see yourself up to this point in your life? I see myself as always a work in progress. I never get complacent. I never get comfortable. I'm always grateful to God and I'm filled with gratitude because I come from far and I've worked and sacrificed blood, sweat and tears to get to where I am now. But I always want to achieve more. And whilst I'm doing so, I try to inspire by doing so that other women and men, people all around the world, will see in me what they have in themselves, that they are leaders, they are a champion, and they have the heart of a champion and can accomplish what they will. We'll take a break. We're not done yet. Hello. Yay. All right. Bye bye. You send us in the break, Kitty, please. Okay. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here watching Sports Zone. You're watching Sports Max Zone. We're going to take a short break. Don't move. We'll be right back. <laughs>
Oh, Miss Kitty cuss man. I don't cuss men. I honor men. I honor kings. But as for the opportunists, the abusers, and the broke, now I'm not, now I'm gonna wear one them. I will always not support that at all. And I've said it before and I will say it again. I don't have an issue with any woman outside. You don't owe me any responsibility. My man owes me the loyalty. My man owes me the commitment. My man owes me that kind of protection. So if it is that your my man come look here, I remember I'm look good at him having money. You're supposed to take him. You're supposed to. <laughs> well, excerpts from your Miss Kitty sermons. Yes. I like, I like, I like. And Thank interviews you, have been making the rounds em, em, on social media. Mm -hmm. Even one of our producers, Michaela Minnie Brown, uh, you, you, you know her very well. Yes. Taking TikTok by storm with some of these videos. Take a look. Until you diss me, I'm not going to diss you. Mm -hmm. You see me, me a girl who start at respect. My respect you first, I roll the red mm -hmm. carpet, but you see when you make the devil trick you, and you lose your weight, and your part, and you go over the disrespect a lot. Then you're going to say me not the matrix. Yeah. And then now, <laughs> me go unleash and spread out like a beach towel. Yay. Say it again. I don't have an issue with any woman outside. You don't owe me any responsibility. My man owes me the loyalty. So mm -hmm. if it is that your my man come look here, I remember I'm look good at him having money. You're supposed to take him. You're supposed to. Yeah. Me not just bring something to the table. I am the table. Me not the fart the knife, the spoon, the tablecloth, the napkin. <laughs> Hello. And that's the truth, my God, love. I've talked the truth. Speak Ooh. the truth and shame the devil. Mm -hmm. hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> The motivation for your sermons, where did them come from? You know, just life, uh, George. I'm a very realistic person. Listen, let me just also preface uh, this segment by saying, Miss Kitty won't be everybody's cup of tea. But one thing I know, I'm somebody's strong, nice bowl of caramel porridge. Tea bus gas, but caramel porridge, billy structure, right? Yes. So that's fine. Uh, at the end of the day, you just have to be true to yourself. There are a lot of women and men. But I'm a woman, so I always speak on behalf of women and women's issues, okay? Uh, the patriarchal agenda has been promulgated for years. There is nothing wrong now with having women at the forefront, speaking our minds, speaking about things that affect us. When we look at the level of crime and violence against our women and our girls, it is time that we speak out about these things and stop hiding the truth, stop hiding the things that are holding us back, hiding the things that are stagnating us, and yeah. hiding the things that are hurting us. It is not a competition with our men. Mm. We are here to complement and we're here to work together. But let us be clear, and everyone nice and clean like you, Judge, we're a cheerleader for women and support women. They have some bad enemy and some of them and them truth be told, them come like a hitman from hell. Yeah, so at the do. end of the day, I have one life to live. And in the same way that I want the best for myself, I want other women to do that. You know the hypocrisy of it all? A lot of men will have a problem with things that I say, but yet you'd want that for your daughter. Yeah. A gentleman saw me and said, Miss Kitty, you know me about really wait what you say what do you I said, what did I say? Um, Jano Star. Um, I said, do you have children? He said, yes. I said, how many? Two. I said, boy, girl. He said he has two daughters. So I said, let me ask you something. So if your daughter was to date a man for 10 years, he impregnated her and he leaves her. He said, yo, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to say, okay, wow. So you love your daughter and wouldn't want that for her. Don't you think that other people love their daughters as well? Miss Kitty, you're smart up the woman them too much. You feel loaded, you make them and make them cultivate. Oh? I'm saying, excuse oh, me, okay. simple play. I'm not on that path. So you will tell your daughter, hey, now look that boy there now. Because I'm bootless and I'm not no ambition. Bro. Try look a care, man. Try look a man. A mother will tell her daughter, try look a man. We can't help you. I am ride bicycle. I'm not uh, going away. I'm not no ambition. So then I say to myself, I wonder where is the lie? So it might not be palatable. And you know, back in the day, your granny used to give you bitter medicine. Sometimes the bitter medicine might not taste good, but it is for your best 
interest and it will inure to your benefit. Bitters is good sometimes because it helps to flush out some of the gunk and the toxins that we oftentimes have in our body. So my sermon really is just daily life. People, a lot of women have cried on my shoulders and you know, a lot of people think that because something doesn't happen to you, it doesn't mean that I can't empathize with other persons. I can show compassion. I can speak on it. Just the other day, a lady called my show talking about, you know, the fact that her baby father of four years with whom she has two children, she gave him her bank card and he stole all of her money. What? He emptied her bank account, boarded a flight, and is now, according to her, in North Carolina. She said, Miss Kitty, for two months, he, she didn't hear from him. After that, he called her to say, boy, I'm sorry, what will me do? But me work about the money and send it oh. come gear. It's six months later and not even a dime or a dollar. Let me hasten to say that there are kings out there and I want to salute all the kings. I want to salute all the men who love women, cheer on women, support women, the veritable pillars of strength. I'm going to big up the nice clean man them because there are many of them out there but at the end of the day we have to arm ourselves with the knowledge arm ourselves with the independence and the autonomy to know that we have to bring more than just looks and beauty and body to the table you have to bring something of substance and at the end of the day with or without a man you can stand on your own as a woman and you are valuable with or without a child you can stand on your own as a woman and still be valuable all the other trappings don't make you less or more of a woman at the end of the day you are queen, you are woman, and wow. you are wonderful. Wow. Definitely. Some really, really strong, strong uh, spots you hit there. How do you deal, though? Because with everything that you say and every good that you do, there's backlash. Yeah. How do you deal with it? And the date allegations recently as well. I want you to tie both into, you know, your answer for me. How did you deal with the, you know, the mm -hmm. backlash that came? Mm -hmm. And you come here and you're strong as if nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, the backlash I don't even pay attention to. I have too many people that love me. I have too many of my kittykins out there. Hello, my kittykins. Hello, hello, uh, that love me. So when you are insulated with love, support, uh, you know, ad adoration and adulation, you don't have time to pay attention to fodder because that's what that is and that w it belongs around there. So you focus on the good things. I have given scholarships to students for the past three, four years. I have given two students, University of the West Indies students, scholarships every year. Those are the things on which I focus. I have my school life, school tour. It has had to be put on hold or pause right. because of the pandemic. Those are the things I, I pay attention to. Coming up with shows and entertaining, touching lives, my blood drive that I host to ensure that Jamaicans can get their blood so that lives can be saved. Those are the things on which I focus. Um, as I say, George, yeah. and you know, unequivocally, yeah. Yeah. me, no focus, pa, no but low cost. On what? that point, though, let, time is almost up. I have yes. to ask you, the, she, Mariah put it in, the date something, I was... Surprised when I saw this back and forth and well, there's no back and forth other than that a letter was sent mm -hmm. and it is being dealt with from a legal perspective mm -hmm. and so we don't talk about non-entities at all. We focus on things and people who have substance, who have things to do and things to say. There are too many things that have to be done in Jamaica and those are the things that I yeah. want to contribute to. I'm a nation builder yes. and those are the things that I want to help Jamaica advance and support and advance the human race and just big up Jamaica. The straight. only thing, the only for, for all its time that I've known you, the only yes. thing I could be upset about you for yes. is your choice of support for a certain school. But then may have since so realized that Casey, Casey, Portis, Portis. Tell us why. Hello, hello, hello. Tell us why. Hello. There are two great, the two great institutions on North Street both begin with K. The Kingston Public Hospital <laughs> and <laughs> Kingston <laughs> College. <laughs> we have one chance, 14 straight. Nobody else has done it. <gasps> And until they do Ooh. so, the purple will continue to reign. <laughs> yes, my veins are purple. And listen, George, Fortis, <laughs> Calare, Celere, non potes. The brave may fall, but never yield. And that is what makes me resilient and tenacious. Lastly, and makes me woman. Lastly, for, yes. for, for the viewers who are wondering where they can listen to you, tell them where you know. Oh, George, sure. they can find me on Nationwide Radio, uh, Monday to Friday, 3 to 5. They can also find me on Miss Kitty Live, Fluffy Miss Kitty on Instagram. And let me just also take this time out to say thanks to my supporters. Thanks to all those of my, who are my fans. Thanks to my Kitty Kings. I love you. I appreciate you for every positive word, for every prayer. I thank you guys so very much. And I will always endeavor to do my best and be the best I can be. I'm not perfect, but I will always endeavor to be the best version of myself so that you know that the best is also in you. Rise up. La, 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 la. 
without apology alert. Might as well take us to the break. Sports oh, yes. Mag Zone. Come right. Yeah, it's Sports Mag Zone. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's a Friday. Keep it locked. Don't go nowhere. Sports Mag Zone. We'll be right back. George and Mariah, your fluffy diva, Miss Kitty. Hello, please. One already to our move. Sports Mag Zone. Mad la. <laughs> Get rid of me.